Hey class, it's Ashley and I'm back with another mentoring moment. And today we're talking finding freedom in your career. There is joy, peace, ease, and even freedom in the world of work. And if no one has ever told you that, I'm here to spread the good news and the good gospel that work does not have to be exhausting, overwhelming. You don't have to be underpaid. You don't have to be, you know, um, wore out. You can do meaningful work. You can do passion filled work and you can be paid well in the world of work because there is freedom available for you in your career. And I want to talk about my own career trajectory and how I came to find freedom in my career and how I I now mentor hundreds of women from a place of freedom and from a place of being well paid in your work and from a place of joy and ease now as a career development mentor for high achieving women. So if you are a professional woman who finds yourself in a role, in a career path, in an industry, working for an employer where it feels really unhappy, where it feels really bogged down, where you don't feel freedom, where you feel chained to your desk or chained to your work or change to the outcome of your industry, I want to invite you into a beautiful thing called freedom and remind you that it is available for you in your career or remind you for the first time, right? Share with you for the first time that it's available for you in your career. And I want to start, um, like I said, by sharing my personal story. So I will tell you that um, I've been working since the day I turned 16. Like I literally, like no lie, have been working since the day I turned 16. I remember, you know, wanting a job so badly because I believed right at the time that, you know, um, work would be freedom. I'm the oldest of seven children. Um, my parents have a lot of kids, had a lot of kids and I was the oldest and I was trying to get out of the house. I don't know if anybody else is a, a, a oldest child and can relate to like wanting to get out of the house. Like I desperately was trying to find find any way to get out of my mother's house, right? I was like, let me find a job. Let me find an extracurricular activity. Let me go find something to do. And once babysitting uh, wasn't, you know, I wasn't obviously getting paid to babysit my siblings. Once babysitting other people's kids and making a little money for that wasn't enough, I turned 16 and I was like, yes, let me go out and find a job. My very first job, I worked at McDonald's. Um, honestly, I will tell you, it was one of my favorite jobs I've ever had. And, you know, I know McDonald's gets a lot of flack in today's, you know, um, you know, farm to table world, but I loved, <laughs> I loved working at McDonald's. And for me, it was a lot about freedom, a lot about getting out of my mama's house and getting away from my siblings and actually having somewhere to go where, you know, people would think highly of me and I would be paid well and they would give me a free meal, right? <laughs> While I was there. So like even, I, even starting work and I never actually, now that I'm reflecting on this, I never really thought about it like that. But like a big part of getting my first job was a lot about freedom, a lot about like getting out of my mama's house and like start having my own money and, you know, going out on my own and, you know, against my mother's, you know, pleading, like, she did not want me to have a job. She didn't want me out of the house. You know, she wanted to keep an eye on her firstborn, but I was determined, right, to get out of her house. And so I was like, this is a great opportunity for me to, you know, make money and have something to do. And so I went down to the local McDonald's. I'll never forget. I asked Miss Mary for a job application. She gave me a piece of paper. I filled it out. She interviewed me on the spot and she let me start that exact same day. Like literally, Miss Mary let me start that exact same day. And I've been working ever since. <laughs> like, honestly, I've had a job since the day I turned 16. Um, so 20 plus years, um, showing my age here a little bit, but yeah, like I, I have always loved to work and I always, like, it was always a freedom thing to me, like the ability to like, you know, make my own money and do my own thing and get out of the house. And I think that even though like growing up, I never knew anyone who saw work as freedom, right? Like everybody I knew, I felt like, you know, they complained about work. They were unhappy at work. They hated their boss. They hated their coworkers. They hated working for the man, right? And so like, I, I didn't hear a lot of positive rhetoric around working, right? Like I, I was, you know, grew up with some people who, you know, believed in, you know, like who, you know, had to work for a living and, had to earn their own money and worked really hard. I grew up, you know, in a household full of people who worked really hard, but none of them liked their jobs. None of them enjoyed work. None of them had bosses that they respected. 
None of them were doing work that they felt meaningful or passionate about or or none of, you know, the people I grew up with were being paid well for their work. They all, everybody I grew up around was overworked and underpaid, right? And that was a legacy thing. Like, that's all I knew. That's all I knew about work is that you was going to be overworked, underpaid. You was going to have to work for the man, you know, that, you know, there was nothing else that you could do. Um, you know, that was all that was available for you and you just had to work until you die. Like, that's how I thought the world of work was. But for me, when I turned 16, work was about freedom. It was an opportunity for me to get out of my mama's house. It was an opportunity for me to earn my own money. It was an opportunity for me to meet new people outside of my, my church friends, right? Like it was an opportunity for me to like kind of start a life of my own. And as I, as I began to work and as I grew in my career from working at McDonald's at 16 in a fast food restaurant to having my first job when I was in college as a, um, you know, student worker to working in retail management, um, to working in education, to working in the nonprofit sector and then going back to education throughout my entire career, I've seen more and more freedom and growth and development over the course of my career. Right. And I think that that's not true for a lot of the women that I serve. A lot of the women that I serve are experiencing less and less freedom, less and less creativity, less and less innovation, less and less joy over the course of their career. And if that's something you've experienced, just throw some hearts up on the screen. If you feel like, yeah, Ashley, like my career right now is anything but freedom. My career right now is anything but joy. My career right now is like literally got me in shackles. And if that's where you are right now in your career, just throw some hearts up on the screen. I want folks to see that they're not alone. If you're watching on replay, just put a heart right here. If you feel like your career right now is not giving freedom, it's not giving flexibility, it's not giving autonomy, it's not giving joy, it's giving the literal opposite, right? And I know that like this is the experience of a lot of high achieving professional women that their life that their career is not freedom it's not joy it's not flexibility but I'm here to share with you that it can be right that your your life your career your your um work and industry can be full of freedom it can be full of joy it can be full full of flexibility and just because right now you're not experiencing that joy you're not experiencing that flexibility you're not experiencing that freedom doesn't mean that it's not available to you it doesn't mean that it's not attainable it doesn't mean that it doesn't exist it just means that you are not experiencing it right now. But the truth is, is that I help hundreds of women every year experience freedom and joy in their career. And that's how I know it's possible. It's available to me now. My current career in higher education, I experience a lot of joy. I experience a lot of freedom. I'm paid well for my work, right? That's an experience that I'm having in my career right now. And that's the same experience that I help hundreds of women experience in their careers as well. And the thing that I really want to invite you into is that at, at your core, at your core, deep down, so many high achieving professional women simply want to experience freedom in their lives and in their career, right? You want to have the freedom to earn a salary that allows you to take the kids to, on an annual trip every year. You want to have the freedom to take days off of work and not worry about if you're going to have a job to come back to you. You want to have the freedom to creatively serve your clients, your customers, your students, or your stakeholders without you know somebody over your shoulder saying, you can't do that and you can't do this. So much of the things that we desire is about freedom and flexibility and autonomy. Right. I know that because one of my top values is freedom, flexibility and autonomy. Nothing matters more to me than having the freedom and flexibility to do it my day as I choose to take on the kind of work projects that I that I desire to to, to be able to hire who I want and fire who I want. Right. Nothing matters more to me than that in my career. And I have that in industry, in an industry that a lot of people are like, well, you know, you can't make no money in that industry. And, you know, you, you don't have no freedom and no flexibility and everything is regimented. Not for me. And it doesn't have to be like that for you either. If you desire freedom, flexibility, autonomy, you know, creativity, engagement in your career, regardless of your industry and regardless of what anybody's told you about what's available for you in your industry, the things that you desire are available. And even if you're not experiencing them right now, even if you don't feel like they're available to you, even if it feels like it's locked down and shut down and there's nothing available and, and you know, you, you don't have the opportunities that other people have. I'm here to share with you today that the freedom and the flexibility and the autonomy and the earning the kind of money that you desire is available to you and the pathway 
right? The pathway to that is your ability to speak to your expertise in a way that will make high paying employers take notice. Your pathway to the freedom and flexibility you desire is your ability to speak to the outcomes you drive and the problems that you solve for an employer, right? Like one of the things that is, I know is true is that people who um, are in low level, low paying positions are often in a role where everything is regimented, where there's an exact framework for exactly how to do it. And they're just like, do this, do this, do this, do this, do this, do this. If your job is like that, where there's no freedom, where there's no flexibility, where there's no autonomy, where your job's like, do this, do that, do this, do that, do that. If your job is like that, right? If your job is like that, you are likely in a low paying role. Because in higher paying, higher level roles, there's a lot more autonomy. There's a lot more flexibility. There's a lot more variability. There's a lot more, you know, free thinking. There's a lot more you coming up with your own concepts and projects and approaches, right? But the, the freedom is at a higher level. And so what we need to do is, t- is take the skill sets that you have, the knowledge that you have, the training that you have, the degrees that you have, the expertise that you already have, and teach you how to speak at it, speak about your, your uh, skill set at a higher level so that you can appear at the level that you actually desire to be at in the minds of employers, right? It's not that you don't have the skill set and the knowledge and the expertise to be at a higher level. It's that you're not being currently perceived like that by employers. Employers are not seeing your 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 you as an asset. They're not seeing you as a valued and highly paid employee, but we can change that. The freedom, the flexibility, the autonomy that you desire, we can get you there simply by speaking about your expertise at a higher level and speaking about your ability to solve organizational problems that are pressing to the organization. And we don't need another degree, right? We don't need another certification. You don't need another training to get there. What we do need to work on though is your ability to speak about your work in a way that's actually gonna make higher paying employers take notice, right? And so the invitation, right? The invitation that's available to you, it's a fine freedom in your career. And I and I will tell you this, this is an insider, right? This is an insider, you know. Feel free to, you know, you know, don't share this everywhere, but the insider that I want to share with you is that I think a lot of people think that entrepreneurship is salvation. Well, you know, I just need to go out and do my own thing. I'm just going to start a business. I'm just going to go out and do my own thing and then finally I'll have the freedom that I desire. But here's the insider. There are many entrepreneurs that I'm increasingly serving as a career coach. And here's why. The economy is unstable. And entrepreneurs are knocking at my door like, hey, um, Ashley, I, um, you know, you know, this entrepreneurship thing, this is cool. You know, done, a, you know, done some stuff here. It's made a little money, but I just need the security of a job. I need the security of a maternity leave. I need the security of paid time off. I need the, the security of health care benefits. I need the security of uh, vision and dental. <laughs> okay? I need that kind of security. And so if you thought that entrepreneurship was going to save you, that, you know, making your own money and going out, you know, to the work, you know, to out of the world of work and going off on your own and business was going to save you. I'm here to share with you that entrepreneurship is not salvation. Let me say that again. Entrepreneurship is not salvation. It will not rescue you for, from the, the perils of the world of work. Because the entrepreneurship girls, they're coming back to the world of work and saying, hey, can I, how can I get a job? How can I get put on here? So let me share that with you. So what we want to do is find freedom in the world of work. And it's available to you. Your job does not have to be overworking you, underpaying you, undervaluing you. That doesn't have to, your world, the world of work does not have to be like that for you. And for most of my life, right, I thought that that was all that there was. I thought that because everybody I knew hated their job. Everybody I knew, you know, wanted to be a, you know, wanted to do something else, wanted to go out on their own. They wanted to make their own money. They didn't want to work for the man. Right. And so I, I thought for most of my life that that was the only way to you know, earn real money and to like, and to really advance my career in it at a higher level. But what I now, or, you know, earn, earn more money and advance my life at a higher level. But now what I now know to be true is that there is freedom and flexibility and joy in the world of work. It doesn't have to shackle you. It doesn't have to put you in a box and it can provide the kind of security 
that you might be seeking, but also the freedom that you might be seeking as well. The world of work can provide security in, in terms of a stable um salary in terms of health care benefits in terms of you know a, a retirement that you can bank on and you can have freedom and creativity and flexibility working with an employer whose values align with your own right and so the invitation to you is to work with me in mentorship to help you build a career development plan and take action on that plan so that you can actually see the kind of freedom and flexibility that you desire and we're going to go beyond an assessment. We're going to go beyond a skills test. We're going to be, go beyond here are some keywords that you should be using in your job search. We're actually going to build a strategic strategy or a strategic strategy. We're going to build a specific strategy to help you find and secure the kind of roles that are aligned with your skill sets and actually position you to make more money in your career in just two months. If you're looking for that kind of support in your career, if you know at this stage in your career, you need to be more pro active you need to be more intentional and you need to find and secure a new role at a higher level then now is the time to work with me i'm accepting you mentees and i invite you to join the mentor me accelerator today you can do so right on my website at mentor-me.org that's m-e-n-t-o-r-me.org join the mentor me accelerator and find freedom in your career it is available to you and you don't need another degree credential certification or training to get there there is freedom available to you through a new role, through a higher paying role, through a salary increase and raise and promotion in your current organization. Whatever the pathway is, you and I can build it and then take action to get it today. I invite you to join the Accelerator. I'm so excited to serve you. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.